Top 10 Images from James Webb Telescope That Will Blow Your Mind What is the oldest galaxy ever observed by humanity? Our vision has now expanded to cover astonishingly vast cosmic distances. Between the concept of the James Webb Space Telescope and its eventual launch on December 25th, 2021, atop a European Air Raid 5 rocket, 25 years and $10 billion have passed. As it orbits the second Lagrange point beyond the moon, it is actively conducting scientific operations that are altering the course of astronomy, astrophysics, and many other sciences. The James Webb Telescope has been operational since its debut and has probably discovered previously unknown objects. It took the first direct image of a planet outside of our solar system. And this stunning image of the Northern Orion Nebula shows the eerie cosmic canyons of gas and dust in vivid detail. However, the James Webb Space Telescope captured a photograph that some argue refutes the Big Bang Theory. Join us as Space Union studies the images the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered. On July 12th, the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared and mid-infrared instruments released their precise views of thousands of galaxies in a deep field angle that used gravitational lensing. A massive group of galaxies' powerful gravitational field bends light rays from more distant galaxies, bringing them into our view. Webb's infrared instruments fill in the gaps, producing the first full pictures of planets and galaxies when combined with prior visible and ultraviolet spectrum imagery. The photos include all the publicly available web shots and descriptions and some amateur alterations made from the original web data. Number 1. The Large Magellanic Cloud One of the first images captured by the JWST released on May 9th provided a beautiful glimpse of the Large Magellanic Cloud. This cloud is a satellite galaxy close to the Milky Way captured by the telescope's coldest instrument, the mid-infrared instrument. It focused on a star field within the satellite galaxies to put the James Webb Space Telescope's imaging capabilities to the test. The image was paired with an older photograph from the now decommissioned Spitzer Space Telescope, which helped to highlight the high resolution potential of Webb's near and mid infrared capability. With its much larger sized primary mirror and enhanced detectors, the JWST will enable us to examine the infrared sky with higher clarity, allowing us to make many more discoveries. Number 2. SMACS 0723 The first officially publicized image obtained by the JWST was SMACS 0723. It was a dream come true for scientists and science enthusiasts worldwide. The image was shown to the public on July 11th at the White House during a live stream press event with NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. The first full-color image from the JWST was released by NASA on July 11th and it was a deep field photograph a long exposure survey of a region of the sky that allows the telescope to capture the light of faint, distant objects. The JWST aimed its powerful infrared camera onto SMACS 0723, a massive cluster of galaxy clusters that acts as a magnifying glass for the objects it observes. The light streaks are galaxies stretched out by the massive gravitational pull of SMACS 0723, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. As a result, the telescope provided the first deep field image of ancient, distant, and dim galaxies. During the unveiling ceremony, NASA referred to it as the deepest, sharpest infrared image of the universe to date. The breathtaking image shows a galaxy cluster 4 billion light years from Earth. Some of the galaxies in the photograph date back roughly 13 billion years, making them nearly as old as the universe itself. Number 3. The Carina Nebula NASA hosted a separate news conference the day after the SMACS 0723 image was unveiled, presenting several other spectacular photographs of the universe. The image of the Carina Nebula, which perfectly demonstrates the JWST's ability to peek past dust clouds and uncover star nurseries beneath, was possibly the most amazing of them all. The Carina Nebula is one of the largest and brightest nebulae in the sky, located around 7,600 light years away in the constellation Carina. Because of the JWST's cutting edge technology, nebulae and stellar nurseries, which means they are sites where new stars form, and the initial evolution of stars can be seen in more detail than ever before. Number 4. The Southern Ring Nebula during the reveal ceremony the day after the unveiling with President Biden, NASA also released photos of the Southern Ring Nebula acquired by James Webb's near-infrared spectrograph and mid-infrared instrument cameras. The two photos show James Webb's power and different viewpoints supplied by its two main cameras. For millions of years, the dying star at the center of the images has been ejecting rings of gas and dust into space, some 2,000 light-years distant from Earth. 
Number five, the Cartwheel Galaxy. In August, a James Webb image revealed new details on star formation in the black hole at the heart of the Cartwheel Galaxy. The image focuses on the Cartwheel Galaxy and two smaller galaxies. Like in the shot of the SMACS0723, the smaller objects in the background are all galaxies. The Cartwheel Galaxy is around 500 million light years away in the Sculptor constellation. The galaxy resembles a wagon wheel due to a historical collision with a smaller galaxy. As a result, the Cartwheel Galaxy is the result of a massive ancient galaxy merger. Before we proceed, if you enjoy content like this, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to receive more in-depth updates. Number 6. Stevens Quintet This galaxy group was discovered in 1877 by Edward Stephen, and the James Webb Telescope's NIRCAM and MIRI sensors have captured previously unseen details in this galaxy group. Despite the name, only four of the galaxies are close and engaged in a cosmic dance. The fifth and most distant galaxy, NGC 7320, is 40 million light years away from Earth, whereas the other four are 290 million light years apart. Furthermore, Stevens' quintet portrays how four galaxies collided with each other in slow motion, much like a train wreck. They are trapped in close contact that is being forced by gravity. Despite being 40 billion times brighter than the Sun, an active supermassive black hole engulfing debris from the surrounding galaxy is seen as a luminous glow in the upper right of the galaxies. Number 7. Fingerprint of the Universe A web image released on October 12th shows dust plume rings produced by violent collisions of two stars more than 5,000 light years away from Earth. They are commonly known as WR140 or the wolf ray at 140 binary. A wolf ray star, a type of star with a very short lifespan, is present in the stellar system. When stars are close to one another, they produce dust plumes thousands of times longer than the distance between Earth and the Sun every eight years. The WR classifies one of the stars in the duo as a wolf ray, an unusual kind of star that is hundreds of thousands of times brighter and significantly hotter than the Sun. It is the final stage in the evolution of massive stars that are several times the mass of the Sun before they go supernova and become black holes. The fingerprint appearance of the two stars is caused by puffs of biological material created by the WR140 binary system. Number 8. Neptune's Rings Since 1989, when the Voyager 2 spacecraft sailed through Neptune on its way out of the solar system, the JWST's photos of the planet's faintly visible rings and atmosphere have been the clearest ever. The JWST's most recent photos reveal galaxies scattered against a pitch black background and Neptune's dazzling methane ice clouds reflecting sunlight. Even Voyager 2's 1989 flyby was unable to capture the planet's tiny dust rings as shown in the current image. Astronomers coated the planet's surface to improve the probe's capacity to collect light from the ice giant's feeble rings. Number 9. The Dart Impact On September 26, the JWST filmed NASA purposefully colliding with an asteroid in its first-of-its-kind test to determine how to protect the world from stray space debris. The debris trail visible in the image above was generated when the collision propelled large rocks and dust particles into space. NASA's 1,376-pound probe traveled over 6.8 million miles as part of the double asteroid redirection test mission before colliding with Dimorphos, a small asteroid orbiting the asteroid Didymos. The mission successfully altered the trajectory of the asteroid Dimorphos to test NASA's ability to divert potentially deadly asteroids away from a collision course with Earth. Number 10. King of our solar system, Jupiter Jupiter's complex atmosphere, multiple storm systems, and the gas giant's Great Red Spot, a gigantic storm that has been spinning for decades, were revealed in images collected by the JWST on July 27th. The telescope also captured two of Jupiter's moons, Amalthea and Andriste, and the planet's thin dust-ringed rings which produce auras at Jupiter's northern and southern poles. The blurry spots in the background are galaxies, according to NASA. Incredibly, we can see details of Jupiter, its rings, tiny satellites, and even galaxies in a single image. And this is only the beginning. James Webb's actual science missions have only recently begun. The frequency of updates and new photos will surely increase now that Webb has officially begun its science missions. The world will also witness a new kind of astronomy, with previously unheard of speeds in discovery and scientific effect as each release spreads in waves through the media world. We are still alive to see it all.
And that brings us to the end of this video. What do you think about these discoveries? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.